Last week was a great week for Labour. Uh, we had the election of Barack Obama in the United States and also our own hero, Lindsay Roy, in Glenrothes. And he came to the Scottish Parliament this week as well as uh, Westminster where he was introduced on Wednesday and came to First Minister's questions here uh, on Thursday. And he saw a wonderful exchange at First Minister's questions when Ian Gray really slaughtered Alex Salmond on the fact that no new schools have been started or are being planned by the SNP. And that's because they have got this Scottish Futures Trust which they think ought to provide money for new schools, but it isn't actually up and running. So for the last year and a half we've been waiting uh, for money uh, to build new schools in Edinburgh uh, and my own constituency and throughout the whole of Scotland and nothing was forthcoming. Uh, it's also been a, a week in which we've seen uh, the credit crunch continue uh, and uh, unemployment rise and decisive action by Gordon Brown and Alistair Dar Darling at Westminster but nothing, nothing of any significance by the Scottish um, government and Alex Salmond uh, here in... And finally, would you believe this? The SNP government are spending £23,000 not here in Scotland but in the Far East producing salt tires for children to wave, space hoppers, uh, capes, face transfers, a whole range of things with a salt tire on it. It really is outrageous at a time where jobs in Scotland ought to be preserved. Just folks, what do you make of the, the government spending £23,000 on Far Eastern salt tires? Well, I think it's outrageous. It's a gimmick by the SNP, but it's a very expensive gimmick. £23,000 for little flags which aren't even uh, made here in Scotland where in the middle of a credit crunch what we should be doing is protecting Scottish jobs and I think it's interesting that on a day where Alex Salmond has been taken to task because no new schools are being built what they are producing instead are silly little flags for people to wave throughout Scotland. Do you think they're going overboard on salt tires? I think they are. Uh, the salt tire is being used or is trying to be used by the SNP in every possible way as part of the party political propaganda. But what I think the people of Scotland realise, and increasingly realise, is that the salt tire is the flag of all of us in Scotland, not just of one political party. And I think there will be a backlash against the SNP for trying to use our national flag for party political purposes.